Hello everyone. If you've ever wanted to secure your quilt top to batting and backing without quilting across the top, the best way to do this is to stitch in the ditch. Stitch in the ditch is when you stitch right in the groove of the seam. This ensures your layers are secured together without seeing your lines of stitching. The first and most important thing to do before you even begin is to choose the best thread. The thread I'll be using is called Invisafil. This 100 weight cottonized polyester thread is incredibly fine and it hides in the fabric wherever it's stitched, even if the color doesn't match the fabric perfectly. This will ensure your stitching shows as little as possible, even if you accidentally sew outside the seam. Because this thread is finer, I'll be using a 70-10 needle. This smaller needle will punch a smaller hole in the fabric so that the fine thread won't be sitting in too large a hole. You can use the same thread in the bobbin, or alternatively, a similar thread called Decobob. Decobob is also a cottonized polyester thread, but it's marginally thicker at 80 weight. This gives your stitching a slightly stronger hold and it's also available on convenient pre-wound bobbins. These pre-wounds will give you a better stitch consistency and even tension. Choose a machine foot that has a mark that marks the center needle position. This makes it easier to line up the needle to the seam you'll be stitching into. Start from one end of the seam and carefully sew all the way to the end trying to stay right in the groove created by the seam. Don't forget to backstitch at the beginning and end. Don't worry if you fall off your path a little. If you're using the correct thread, it won't even be visible. That's actually all there is to it. Simply choosing the right tools for the job is the best way to get perfect results, even if it's your first time to try this technique. Leave us a comment in the section below and let us know what type of video you'd like to see next. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video and hit subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. Or you can visit us at hashtag Tip Tuesday on Facebook and Instagram for weekly sewing related tips. See the description box below. We'll see you all next time.